What is up, boys? Uh, so we're back here with another Speed Duel Tournament Pack 7 opening. This is almost the remainder of the whole uh, batch that I got. Uh, if you don't remember or didn't watch the last video, I was questioning if I got... A, I, got, I got scammed, essentially, but I looked around on the internet, and some of you guys were even saying that it's just bad quality, not necessarily uh, a fake or bogus product. So I'm going to go with that as well, because I did see an opening, and the card quality and the pack quality was basically the same. So you know what, Konami, you got to step up your game, boys. Skilled Dark Magician is the first card we got here. The 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 uh, the higher end stuff is on the first pack for some reason. So might do the pack trick. I might not. Santa Claus horribly, horribly miscut. I mean, speaking of Konami's quality control, like what is that? What is that? That is crazy. San okay, like what? It the 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 eye of Anubis is like peeling off again. So maybe. I don't know, man. I, I think they're legit. They might not be legit. I'm probably not even... Get, I'm, should I just throw these out? I don't even know, man. Anyway, so United We Stand. Um, divided We Fall. Super rare. Eliminating the league. Like, what is up with this? What is up? What is going on, man? That, that is crazy. What's really weird to me is that the back doesn't look miscut. And then this is, like, just horribly miscut. So... That is, like, that is insane. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to take too much time on, on, on in this video, whether it's it's legit or not. Um, let's just keep uh, going on and keep on keeping on, right? Birthright, Super Rare, Thousand Ice Spell, Lava Golem is a pretty decent pull. Lava Golem and Santa Claus because they both basically yoink cards out of your opponent's field and in speed duel since you start with 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 three or i guess you only have three monster fields it's uh, like really really good in that regard right um anyways yeah let's see what ultra rares we can pull guys maybe i was gonna say maybe uh a, a what's it called thousand eyes restrict and then we pull the relinquished there left left me speechless all right, all right. What is this Gaia the Fierce Knight as a super rare? Eliminating the League. And then Illusionless, Faceless, Magician, Common. Commoner over there. Uh, all right, and then we got Birthright, super rare, and Offering to the Doomed. I wonder if this card is doing anything, because I think it was pretty pretty OP in early, early Duel Links, but maybe I'm misremembering. Insect Princess, Super Rare, Noise, Unbreakable Spirit, Magical, Magical, Magical Arm Shield, if I can say it, is one of those cards that I see and it always reminds me of like my old days of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I forgot what game it was, but that card was actually pretty decent. Like you got it early on and, and it helped you out tremendously. I forgot what game it was. Maybe it was on the GBA. Oh man. Command Knight, Super Rare. Okay, Spiral Spear, Strike, Cosmic Cyclone is common, is nice to see, honestly. Uh, Foolish Burial looks good, actually, kind of decent. The name is kind of shifted, though. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not that bad, but it's just, I mean, I'm nitpicking the heck out. Oh, no, the back is pretty bad. I spoke too soon, boys. The back is pretty bad right there. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate, but uh, Foolish Burial, okay, we'll put it right there, that is our first Ultra of this opening, you you should be getting about 10 Ultras, and I think I only pulled 4 in the last video, so we're due a couple, uh, for sure, like more than a couple, uh, hopefully again another 1000 eyes, because that's really the, the chase card here, but I mean, are they even legit? <laughs> Birthright, Super Rare Offering to the Doomed. Unbreakable spirit, like dude, this this quality control is super bad. Like it's it's bad, bad. The the video that I'm questioning, I forgot who it was from too. Maybe I'll put it in post if I don't forget. But uh, they had the same goofiness in in relinquish. What I was calling out was that relinquished name looks really weird. But they had the same weirdness. Also in his opening, uh, he had the same spots uh, here. Like, some of these cards have, like, weird white spots. 
And yeah, I think it, it, on his, it was on Thousand Eyes Restraint. So yeah, yeah, big yikes. And here's another one here with the, the same white spot. I really don't know what's going on here because Speed Duel 6 and 5 were actually really good on quality. Not the best, but I actually do think they were better than the OTS packs in some regard because uh, the alties always come in pretty pretty damaged in the uh, OTS world. So I thought, I thought maybe it was safe to go into the Speed Duel world, but now I'm definitely second-guessing my, uh, my choices here. Gaia the Fierce Knight, all right, as a super rare. That's an interesting choice, too, but, yeah, you know, it, it's a fan service for sure. And people, ooh, okay, this one is also kind of shifted with the name there, Vampire, Vampire Awakening. I have not pulled this one, though, so that's kind of interesting. At least I don't remember pulling it. It looks decent. It looks pretty decent. So, uh, that's a W in my book there. Vampire's Awakening. I don't think that's worth much, though. Uh, I don't think it is. Anyways, so then we got a J Jinzo. That's the first Jinzo in this opening. I don't remember pulling it in the other one. But yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, that is correct. That's one of the chases in this card, actually, in this pack, I should say. Uh, for some reason, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's been it's been printed quite a bit in every in every format, like dueling, not dueling, speed duel, and the TCG. But you know, what do I know about people's preferences and money habits? I'm a degenerate Yu-Gi-Oh pack opener, relinquished uh, super rare spiral spear strike. Uh, that's also a weird choice. Again, maybe Gaia's doing something in, in the in mass in the. Why do I keep saying like different formats, man? What is this speed duel? Speed duel. Can you can't even remember the the dang format here? All right, what is this? Ga another Gaia. Okay, nice. I should kind of forget. Was Gaia? Gaia was an ultra rare when it first came out, right? It was Curse of Night that was super rare, if I'm not mistaken. Uh... Because I think it was in the first pack, LOB, it was Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician for sure, then the Limbs of Exodia, Monster Reborn, and Gaia, right? Th like those were the ultra rares. But uh, maybe I'm mistaken, because, I mean, back in the day, Gaia was not a good card either, right? Because you still had a tribute. At least with Dark Magician, that required two tributes. It was uh, 2,500 body. But with Gaia, it's only a 2,300 body. And, uh, I mean, given some... Like a couple, actually, not even a couple packs. Literally, the next pack introduced Summon Skull with one tribute at 2,500 attacks. So, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, useless card is a useless card. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Birth, Birth, Right, Super Rare, Grand Mark, The Rock, Monarch, Santa Claus. Man, I, lo I love seeing this. I think it was already printed in Speed Duel. In a speed duel tournament pack, I think it was like the second one or something. In a high rarity, two I believe, and so it has a lava golem. By the way, I don't know why they keep printing the same stuff in these uh, tournament packs. Maybe they're just running out of stuff to print, and that's probably why Guy is in here. To be honest, this, I mean, are there any tournaments for speed duel that are you know competitive enough for Konami to to you know even care about this product? Metal Reflex Slime, uh, all or super rare, not ultra rare. All right, we got like what seven packs? No, no, like fourteen packs. Let's see if we can do at least you know two more ultras would be nice. Uh, that would be about four, six, eight ultras total. I do have some more packs in the wings too. I might do some shorts on, but uh, yeah, we'll see because uh. I mean, I don't know, man. I really did like... I wanted to like Speed Duel stuff. Open up some Speed Duel stuff. Brain Crusher Ultra Rare. Yo, that, that name shift is really bugging me on all of these. That is pretty crazy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it that well on camera, but off camera, like, it's really bugging me. I don't know why. It's not even that bad, but... Uh, I mean, it's kind of bad, but... Anyways, <laughs> the, old, the third Ultra. Uh, but yeah, I, I really wanted to open up more Speed Duel stuff. You know, 
because uh, sometimes the regular TCG is just slow. But maybe, maybe this just ain't it, because, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, the inclusions in the tournament packs are weird. The quality is for sure weird. Um, there's just a lot of weirdness going on. So, we'll see, we'll see. I might still stick around. I'll, I'll try, I'll give it another college try with Speed Duel Tournament Pack 8 if there is one. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll gauge it from there. But, uh, and yeah, hopefully they, they do return with some hero cards with some heat. Because we are sorely missing some hero cards in this tournament pack. Uh, like, they weirdly went back to the DM era for some reason. But, uh, Skilled Dark Magician... Uh, super rare, magical arm shield. Like most of these are actually pretty DM era uh, heavy. Now that I really think about it, relinquish right. Like spell shattering Ar arrow was from the DM. Jinzo DM United we stand. Now that wasn't it. Skilled dark magician uh, supports dark magician DM. So yeah, even the skill cards. There's a Pegasus and a Yugi. So I wonder what's going on there. Maybe they're 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 st they're slowing down on, on uh, speed duel because they haven't really released anything regarding five Ds, and I think people would go crazy if they started doing that. But you know, it is what it is. You know, Kana Konami as soon as they find a formula, they give up on it. Like what happened to Ghost from the past three? Right? They just gave up on it. Uh, there's this is going to be the same thing with speed duel. Like as soon as people are like, you know, five Ds is five Ds is time is coming. Nope, killed by Konami. You just watch, boys. You just watch. Uh, Spell Shattering Arrow, Super Rare, Hunting Instinct. Is that a Dino Dino support card? I feel like, I feel like it is. I think this is gonna be an ultra. There we go. I mean, this one looks pretty nice. The 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 name isn't shifted. I don't think. At least it looks nice to me. And then, uh, no weird... Oh, there is a weird spot. Like, right on the bottom. Right over here. I don't think you guys can see. And then the back is actually kind of clean. So, I mean, that's all you can really hope for in this, uh, in this pack, right? Alright, so, that is four Ultras. Eight Ultras in total. That is pretty low spreads. Because, uh, I've opened up, uh, Speed Duel Tournament Pack 5 and 6... And yeah, they were about 10 ultras, but uh, Guy of the Fierce Knight is the last one here. All right, guys, that is the video. Oh man, so much weirdness with this product, but I, I had to open it, right? I have, to, I have to finish opening up this product. That was a nice Restrict Ultra, Brain Crusher, really nice name, goofy name, uh, Ultra Rare, Vampire Awakening Ultra Rare, Foolish Burial Ultra Rare. And then you guys can see all the super rares here. There's some Jinzos in the wings as well uh catch you guys in the next one hopefully speed dual tournament pack 8 isn't as funky